Hey everyone, I just wanted to share with you a uh, this great spider that we uh, have found in our garden the past couple years. Um, I'm going to zoom in here. It's uh, the yellow and black garden spider. Its uh, Latin scientific name is Argeo arantia. And um, this is a female. Um, it's uh, The females are the ones that are yellow and black. Um, on their abdomens, and then the cephalothorax there is, is uh, white um, near the head. And uh, you can see the zigzag pattern on the web. It's a radial web with a, this zigzag pattern called the stabilimentum. And uh, it's disputed whether uh, the exact, what the exact reasons are um, and the functions, but uh, some of the ideas are uh, that uh, it you know, warns birds that there is a web here. Um, also, maybe that it disguises the spider that's sitting right um, in the center of the web, um, or that maybe it attracts insect prey in some way, shape, or form um, for it to, to catch and feed. But um, yeah, we've been happy to find them in our in our garden because um, they uh, they're just yeah they're, it's just great to see the uh, the food web becoming more more whole. Um, and more connected here, um, helping take care of other pests. Um, this, uh, I should say that the spider is also commonly known as a uh, writing spider, W-R-I-T-I-N-G, and also the corn spider. Um, the first year we, we saw one, it was actually in our corn. Um, they spin their, they spin their webs and, and hang out, um, anywhere between two and eight feet high, and typically stay in the same spot, um, once you find them or the same general area. They, uh, um, yeah, I just think they're, they're beautiful. And um, the, the males aren't quite as big. The males have a, a more elongated uh, abdomens and they're, they're brown. They're not black and, black and yellow. Um, yeah, uh, the sizes, uh, you, I'm not sure how well you can tell the size, but Females are about 19 to 28 in, uh, millimeters, and the uh, the males are about five to nine uh, mil, uh, millimeters. So they are markedly smaller. Um, I should also I should would also like to share that um, this this is our comfrey plant. Um, it's the Russian hybrid um, X Uplandicum, uh, Bocking 14, I believe, and um, our Russian the, uh, these comfrey plants are just amazing. Um, they uh, they just grow like crazy. They accumulate tons of um, minerals and, and uh, nutrients and biomass. Um, they're great compost plants. Um, they I've been observing the pollinators, just loving them. Um, you know, I guess this this makes it more obvious the fact that we have a yellow garden spider here next to it. But um, I have read that they are uh, comfrey plants are incredible habitats for spiders, especially overwintering helping hundreds of spiders to overwinter. Um, I also want to show you some more comfort plants over here. We have uh, two there in between and then one in the corner of our garden back there. This this one in the back corner we haven't done uh, much with except for uh, cut off the edge pieces. The, this cluster of two right there, that one we, uh, we actually, I cut back all the way down to the ground and within two weeks it was already this big. Um, so that's a demonstration of, of its incredible ability to uh, accumulate nutrients, um, and it's really easy. You can you know you can take a hand sickle or any sort of um, hand pruners, or you could just you know rip the stuff off with your hands, kind of um, break off the stems just like a, a Swiss chard, um, and uh, just crush them up, drop them in the garden um, garden beds. You can make compost tea out of them by just crushing up a bunch and fill in a bucket, five gallon bucket, and putting water in it, letting it sit for about a week, stirring it once a day, um, and then diluting that somewhat and uh, just pouring it on your plant beds. Um, the other function of the comfrey plant is, uh, is that it's incredibly high in protein um, and it makes for a great um, animal fodder, specifically chickens. Um, chickens don't always like it as much, but ducks and geese apparently really do like it a lot. So we have we have a small chicken tractor, and so we occasionally rip off a bunch of leaves and, and feed it to them. So uh, yeah, I think that's about all for 
for today and uh, I was just excited to share um, share our uh, amazing little friend here the uh, the yellow and black garden spider Argio Arantia. Alright, take care, see you next time.